Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on factoring and we're going to be dealing with uh, what's called the common monomial or the common factor. So when you're factoring, and it doesn't matter how complicated or simple the uh, terms are, you need to uh, deal with the common factor. So we look at this, these two terms and ask ourselves, what's common to both terms? We can see that both terms has a 4, so there's a 4 here, and we know that there's a 4 in 12, right? Because 4 times 3 is 12. We also see that we have an A and an A. So those are the terms that are common, the 4 and the A. So then what we do is we say, all right, I'm going to pull out the 4a. And essentially what you're doing is here dividing this piece by 4a, and that leaves you with an x. And you're dividing, since you've pulled out the 4a here, our plus remains you're dividing this one essentially by 4a as well and that leaves you with 3b. So your answer becomes 4a which is what was the common term and you pulled out and you're left with x plus 3b. Now you can see here that these are the two sort of prime um, terms prime pieces that are multiplied together to give us 4ax plus 12ab. And if you feel like, you know, maybe you've made an error, you can always just walk through these steps and multiply it again. So let's just do that. So 4a times x plus 3b. And we multiply through, we take the 4a and multiply it by the x, that gives us 4ax and the 4a times a 3b which gives us plus 12ab. So we're basically back where we started. So that means that what we have here is correct. Those are the factors. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. Again, we're looking at it and asking ourselves what's common to both terms. We can see there's a 25 here, and we know that 50 is 25 times 2. So there has to be a 25. There's an L in this term and an L here, so L is common to both terms. We have an M squared and an M here, so M is common to both terms. And we have an N here and an N squared, so N common to both terms. Alright, so we pull that out and then we put in our bracket and essentially again we're dividing this by 25 L M N. So the 25 divided by 25 gives us 1. The L divided the L gives us 1. M squared divided by M leaves us with an M and the n divided by the n again is 1. So all we have for that first piece when we pull it out is the m. Then we have a plus sign, so we put a plus there, and then we divide this one by 25 l m n. 50 divided by 25 is 2. The l divided by the l is 1 the m divided by the m is 1, and the n squared divided by the n is n. So there you go. So we have this term here multiplied by that term. Okay, so now again we do the same thing. We just look at it and ask ourselves what's common to each, each term. We can see that they're all related to 7. 
We might think that the 14 is what's common, but there isn't. If we take 49 and divide it by 14, we do not get an even number. So the thing that's common is the 7. Now we can see there's an R here, R cubed, and another R, so there's an R that's common. Here we have an S squared, an S, but there's no S here, so S is not common. We have a T cubed, T squared, and a T, so then it's just a T. So that's what we pull out, and then we ask ourselves, what are we left with? So essentially, again, what we're doing is dividing this, oops, by 7. 7RT. So we, we're left with a 7. The R is gone. We're left with the S squared. And T cubed divided by T is T squared. And then our minus stays. And again, we're dividing this essentially by 7RT. 28 divided by 7 is 4. R cubed divided by R is R squared. T, oh, S, S remains. And T squared divided by T is T. And then the last one, we divide by 7, we get a 2. We divide by our R, let's just write it down here, 7RT. We divide by the R, we're left with a 1. T divided by T is 1, so then we're just, we just have a 2 here. And then this is what your final answer would be. We pull out the 7RT and we're left with these pieces. Now, question number 4. Again, what's common to every term? We can see that in every term we have a 3. You can see in every term we have a J. But we don't have an H in every term, and we don't have a G. So then our common factor is 3J. So we pull the 3J out, take 3J out of here, and we're left with 3HG. And then we have a plus sign. We're essentially dividing this by 3J. And we end up with 6JH. And then minus the 3. So again, 3J. 3 divided by 3 is 1. J cubed divided by J is J squared. Okay? So there's our answer. All right. And that video has been brought to you by Wise Guys. You have a good day.